You have a basic application and now you're wondering what are fragments, should I use them? So before we go into that, what I want to show you is a small application and how I go from a basic regular activity into fragments. And then we're going to see how they fit uh, some design paradigms. All right. So I have a little application here that computes the BMI index for a person. That's a health indicator. If I go to my layout, it's, this, uh, it's basically I have a bunch of components, text components here, um, a bunch of text components, and it asks you for your weight, for your height, and then you click on this button and it gives you your BMI in a label that's hidden underneath. Okay, so let's look at it more closely, right? So I ask you for your weight in pounds, you enter it. I ask you for your height, you enter it, then you click BMI, and then the BMI index will be displayed here. So let's see. And, and all I have here, it's, it's basically a linear layout uh, with the orientation where the orientation is vertical. So uh, components views are stacked vertically. And it has a text view that asks you for a weight in pounds, an edit text, then another text view with your height in inches, then an edit text to enter that. And then it has a button with an on-click event called Compute BMI. Okay, and then a text that's that has nothing in it, basically where I will put the result. This text is called Verdict Text View. So, this is my layout. Very simple. Those are the components. Uh, and again, you can see them in design. The text view, the edit text, the text view, the edit text, the button, and the text view is hidden over there. If I go to my activity, okay, in my activity, on my onCreate um, uh, method, I created these variables first here, to edit text and text view, which is the output, and then the edit text are the weight and the height texts. I bound them to the XML file using find view by ID. Again, I'm assuming you have you know how to create the most basic activity. Uh, that does something in the program. You just want to know what this fragment mystery is about. So you um, you set these variables to the to the to whatever the, it's on the screen, and then remember here in the XML, your button had an on-click attribute called compute BMI. That means that the function that's going to the method that's going to process your on-click events for that button is going to be compute BMI. And all that and all it is is basically I get the weight from the text that you entered on the weight text view. I get the height from the text that you enter on the height text view. I make them into doubles, weight and height. And then the out out, which is this text view that is hidden, this label that it's hidden, I will set the text to your BMI basically. This is just the formula for the BMI. Okay? And this runs like this. So we're going to run it in the emulator. And you'll see it running. Here it is. So weight in pounds, I don't know, 170. Height in inches, 59 or 69. BMI is 25.1. Okay, this is all my application does. It's very good. All right, now we want to convert, we want to use fragments here. Why? We're going to see the, the applicability of fragments later on. But first, I just want to show you how to convert this thing that it's in an activity into a fragment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the fragment. Fragment, just like activities, they have a Java file which controls the visual elements on the XML. So then it has a Java class and an XML file. So we're going to right click or however you get to this context menu. You're going to say new fragment. If your Android Studio doesn't have a fragment, you can just create a Java class and look at and look at the fragment that I will create and copy the necessary code. These are, after all are just Java classes. So there will be a fragment. I'm going to create a blank fragment for this. And my fragment is going to be, it's going to call BMI, it's going to be called BMI fragment. Okay? 
and the layout XML will be fragment BMI. All right, so the class was created now, and then the XML was created. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my activity, okay? I'm going to go to my activity. I'm basically going to copy everything here. <clears throat> I will go to the fragment and put everything there, okay? So I just copy, basically copy the activity, all the layout, my layout, to my fragment BMI, because now what happens is the activity will just be a meta Java class, but all the visual components that I care about are going to be in this fragment. Okay. So, well, what's gonna what's gonna be in the activity instead? Well, in the activity, instead of all these visual components, I'm going to have. I'm just gonna instantiate a fragment. A fragment with the width is. Oops, where the width is wrap content and the height is wrap content as well. Another important thing with fragments is you want to give it, you want to specify, you want to specify, uh, whoops, no comma there. You want to specify the name. And the name is actually the class the class where your fragment class is. You see FD, FID BMI calculator BMI fragment. This is referring to this Java class with the package, right? So fully qualified Java class there. Okay? So I'm just going to do that. Whoops. Let's do that. Let's close this. So my, now my activity XML is a lot simpler. It's just this. Basically saying insert, insert the fragment here, and this is, and my fragment XML contains everything else. Now one more thing that we have to, and that's basically you know. The most basic thing to make this to make this work. We can. Uh, now we'll have a problem in the calc activity now, right? Because. These things now reside in a fragment. They don't reside in my activity XML anymore. Okay? So what happens is I'm going to move this code onto the fragment and let the fragment control the screen. Okay? So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get these variables out to my fragment. Again, I'm moving everything. By the way, when you create a fragment with Android Studio, a lot of things are created for you. We're not going to need a bunch of these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a lot of this code for simplicity. All of this code is going to go away. Now, on create, on create view, that's the one that I want. So this was not important here. And here, I just stripped it down to the bare minimum. Okay, so here I'm going to create the same variables that I had before. I'm going to create, delete these comments. Again, I've stripped the fragment to the bare minimum. So if you didn't, if your um, Android Studio didn't create a fragment for you just copy this class the way it is right now okay are the comments so I copied these variables now I need to use those variables right and the way I use those variables is this the onCreate view will return an inflator with the fragment BMI XML inflated for you so basically it will return a connection to the fragment BMI what we're going to do instead is we're going to say view v equals that inflator dot inflate, right? So we're going to create a view. And then here, again, from the activity, I'm going to get all these connections 
out of the activity and into the fragment. And I'm just going to add here v dot. Okay, so the view, basically what I'm saying is attach this XML file to a Java view. And from that Java view, find these components. Okay, and put them in Java variables. Okay, and because it's a fragment, it's an onCreate view returns a view, then you just return v. Okay, that's how you'll create the fragment. Now let's look at the BMI, BMI calc activity. This compute BMI will not get, it's not going to go here anymore because we're not going to do anything in the activity. Okay, the activity will just be the simplest thing it can be. That's how you want it. You want the activities to be as slim as possible if you're using fragments. You want to delegate everything onto the fragment. And in the fragment, I'm going to create this method here. Okay? And I want to show you what's going to happen now when I run it. I'm going to run this application with the fragments, and we're going to notice a few things that won't quite work. And those are little exceptions that I'm going to go over to explain in more detail. So I'm running this here, and we'll see it in a second. Oops, doesn't work. There's something wrong still, right? So what's happening, it's, it's a bunch of things. But first, I have this with the, with the fragment, right? I have my fragment here, my activity with the correct fragment, it's all good. Oh, I'm going to use an ID also. It's, it's never a bad idea to give it an ID. will be, whoops, uh, add plus ID BMI fragment. All right. Um, here's what's going on. In this components, right, the button has an on click. Fragments don't just process on clicks like this. Okay, so we're going to take out this attribute from the fragment. And what we need to do, this is, this is the difference between the fragment and the activity so far, is that in the fragment, what we will need to do is create a variable that holds, that connects the button, that connects the button, button BMI. Okay, we're going to have to connect it, connect it to my Java code, button BMI equals button v dot, v dot find view by ID, r dot ID dot, whoops, not very deep text to you, uh, compute BMI button. Okay, that was the name of my button. Button BMI. BMI, there you go. And then I will attach an on-click listener to this button programmatically. So instead of doing it from the HTML for fragments, I have to do it in the code. So I'll say button BMI dot set on on-click listener. Then I'll just type new and then control space on-click listener. And this is in the on-click view. I'm going to call compute compute BMI, and I'm going to pass the same view that comes in. It's the same view that I will pass onto as this parameter. That's all. Well, let's see how this works so far. Oh, and um, and here just want to make double sure that I have everything here. Uh, yep, that's my fragment. Let's try it. Look at the emulator. I'll enter my weight in pounds. I'll enter my height in, in, in inches. And then compute BMI. And here's my BMI. And now I'm working with fragments. A couple of things to note about this is, A, well, the on-click event, and basically the events cannot be programmed through XML. 
that easily. So you might want to have to add a listener, but it's really very mechanical. You don't really need to understand everything that's going on here. Just do it like this. Other than that, you're controlling your BMI calculator from the fragment. What advantage does that give you? We're going to see that in the next video, but now you've taken all the visuals away from the activity and into a fragment that can be reused anywhere you want, even if you want it as a portion of an activity or as a portion of the screen as opposed to uh, the full screen.